Some of the main diseases I'm on the lookout for in my soybean crop are uh, frog eye leaf spot, cercospora, pod and stem blight, and brown spot. But when we start thinking about you know spraying a fungicide in our soybean crop, we're really timing that for that R3 type of timing. That means we have pod formation in one of those three most upper nodes, and then we're going to uh, then uh, spray our fungicide. That gives us the most timely application. We also want to think about uh, the diseases that were there, specifically when it comes to frog eye leaf spot. Here in Iowa and uh, elsewhere in the Midwest, uh, most frog eye leaf spot is QOI resistant, meaning it is resistant to the strobilurin type fungicides. And if we're using one of those fungicides that just maybe has a triazole and a strobe, we're only getting one active ingredient there. But since frog eye leaf spot is QOI resistant or strobilurin resistant, that means we need to use one of these other fungicides that have an SDHI component and uh, like Miravis Neo. So the adepidin technology that you find in Miravis Neo will do a fantastic job of helping uh, control QRI resistant frog eye uh, when tag teamed with um, the triazole that's in Miravis Neo. So those are a few of the diseases and applications that I would see uh, for that soybean acre.